I've been asked many times if you actually have to use OBS to connect your VTubing software to Discord. In fact, you could actually use your VTubing software to connect to Discord, Luppet, and Zoom. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your VTubing software directly to Discord, Luppet, and Zoom. But not only that, I'll show you the positives and negative sides of doing just that. My name is Anubis Lives and I... I'm your VTuber Senpai, and on this YouTube channel, we upload every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you need any information about VTubing or anything VTubing related, I got you covered. Also, if you happen to like today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos, and well, subscribe. To see all my latest and greatest content that may help you down the road, hit that subscribe button. And well, let's get into it. Okie dokie, just as a quick disclaimer, I gotta let you know that this method only works about 25% of the time. If this method happens to not work for you, make sure you go check out my other video, how to VTube in Discord, link up above, and I'll get you started that way. Now I wanna see about 50% of the VTubing software out there actually has a virtual cam option built into the settings. So I'm gonna show you in some VTubing software on where you can find that particular setting. So right now we're gonna use VC face as an example. So what we need to do is head to settings, general settings, scroll down a little bit half, enable virtual camera for this session. We're gonna install virtual camera. It will do what it needs to do. And there you go. The virtual camera is installed. Under where it said uninstall virtual camera, you will see load virtual background. Now in that background, you cannot load any videos or JPEGs. It has to be a PNG image. Now we're going to use another piece of software for an example called VTuber Maker. Okay, so here in VTuber Maker, all we need to do is again, go to the settings or the options. We're going to go to device, virtual camera driver. We're going to click install. It'll do the same thing as VC face and that's ready to go. And after that's done, all you gotta do is on the right hand side, virtual broadcast, click that to on, and now we're ready to go to Discord or Zoom. So like I said earlier, not all pieces of software actually have virtual cam option built into them. So if you don't see the option in there, feel free to leave a comment down below asking if it actually does have virtual camera or not, and I'll reply as best as I can. Okay, so now let's connect our VTubing software to the software of our choice. The software I will be demonstrating with is Discord, but the steps will be the exact same for Zoom, Microsoft Teams, so on and so forth. So here in Discord or your software choosing, you're gonna go into the settings. Then once you're in the settings like we are now, you're gonna go to voice and video. Once there, you're gonna go down to video settings. You're gonna select your camera. You're gonna scroll down just a little bit find the application that you're gonna be using. We're gonna use VC face camera. We're gonna click that, then we're gonna test video. And there we are. As you see, we're down in the little box and we're now connected and ready to go to, well, make our calls. If you don't see your model in that little box, that means that it's not gonna work for your computer. You're gonna to have to use the OBS method. So the positive side of having virtual camera enabled is basically you don't have to use another third-party program like OBS, it just connects and is ready to go. The downside on virtual camera, depending on the software you use, is you can have customized backgrounds other than like a PNG image. So if you want a fancy background like I have in this video right now, you won't be able to do that unless you use OBS. But at the end of the day, that's all the positive and negative sides of using either OBS or just the virtual camera. Let me know down below if this method worked out for you or if you actually had to use the OBS method. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come on by, say hi, let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, whatever. And well, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.